How's it going everyone? In this video, we'll be going over the latest news in professional wrestling. But before we begin, make sure you subscribe to our channel to get the latest wrestling news. Alright guys, so for our first story of today, we have some news on Randy Orton and it looks like he could be out of action for quite some time. Uh, so this report comes from WrestlingNews.co and all of the articles that I use in this video you can find in the description box down below. So this article states, Randy Orton has been working through a back injury for a while and the decision was made a few weeks ago to pull him off television to allow him to heal up. Fightful Select reports, it got to the point where he actually had work done to improve his condition before the tag team title unification match on the May 20th edition of WWE SmackDown, although it's unclear of the extent of the work that was done. The report stated, things have gotten progressively worse and WWE fears that Randy Orton will be forced to undergo surgery. If that happens, then he will likely be out of action for the rest of the year. It's still unclear what the exact injury is. Uh, Alright guys, so this report is pretty much saying that Randy Orton could miss uh, the entire uh, the rest of the year if he has to undergo surgery. Um, but it did not say what, you know, specifically his injury. But I'm assuming maybe it has to do something with his shoulder because he has been dealing with shoulder issues in the past. And uh, if he does need to get surgery, uh, he will miss out on a very important match because Randy Orton was uh, supposed to face Roman Reigns at SummerSlam. So if that happens, he will be missing that match and also the rest of the year. So hopefully Randy Orton's injury is not severe to the point where he needs to get surgery. So for our next story, guys, it looks like we have some new information regarding Sasha Banks' release from WWE. More details continue to come out regarding the process of Sasha Banks' impending departure from WWE after it was reported by Wrestling Inc.'s Raj Giri that she has been released by the company. No one else has been able to confirm the news, but Giri does have a good record of breaking news. Fightful Select noted, after talking with Giri, they learned that Sasha Banks' lawyers were involved and there had been eyes on a physical WWE release. Uh, during his Thursday Matt Men Wrestling podcast, Andrew Zarian said that while, can't, uh, that while he can confirm she has been released, he did hear last week that her attorneys were working on getting this done. Alright guys, so pretty much... Uh, the only wrestling uh, outlet, I guess you could say, that has been uh, saying that uh, Sasha Banks has been released by WWE is Raj Geary of Wrestling Inc. And uh, pretty much Dave Meltzer or any other uh, wrestling outlets have been able to confirm this news. And also WWE themselves have not said anything regarding Sasha Banks. Or not even Sasha Banks has posted anything, you know, regarding her departure from the company. So I guess we'll have to wait and see what will end up happening regarding Sasha Banks and also Naomi, who was also involved in walking out of uh, WWE several weeks ago. Moving on to our next story, guys. We have the ratings for this week's episode of AEW Dynamite. And from the looks of it, the ratings for this week's episode took a significant drop in the ratings department this week. The ratings are in for AEW Dynamite. The show drew 761,000 viewers down from the 939,000 viewers the show previously drew last week. In the 18 to 49 demographic, the show did a 0.28 rating, which is down from the 0.34 last week. Last week, the show went up against the NBA Finals, which averaged over 11 million viewers and did a 3.65 in the key demo rating on ABC, while this week's episode of Dynamite went up against the NHL Stanley Cup Finals on ABC, which drew over 4 million viewers and a 1.06 in the key demo rating. So in my opinion, guys, I think that next week's episode of Dynamite, will uh, the ratings for the show will increase. And overall, I thought that this week's episode was pretty good. And I'm excited to see next week's show as well. So with that being said, guys, that is all of the news that we have for today. Let me know your thoughts and opinions on all of the topics that we discussed today in the comment section down below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one.